Top China general hints at likelihood of war with U.S. as Beijing backs huge military boost. China's second highest ranking military official has hinted at the likelihood of war with the U.S., as Beijing calls for higher military spending in preparation for a conflict with Washington. General Xu Chiliang, China's second in command of the armed forces after President Xi Jinping, said an increase in military spending is needed to counter the Thucydides trap. The term, popularized by U.S. political scientist Graham T. Allison, refers to the inevitability of war when a new global power displaces an existing one. Speaking in a group discussion alongside the annual gathering of China's National People's Congress, General Su said Beijing's growth threatens the U.S. He told the Politburo, in the face of the Thucydides trap and border problems, the military must speed up increasing its capacity. We must make breakthroughs in combat methods and ability, and lay a sound foundation for military modernization. General Su then noted China's GDP was equal to more than 70% of the U.S. economy, and added, this means we are already standing on the key position of a new chapter towards strength. Major General Richard Kaufman, director of the U.S. Army's Next Generation Combat Vehicle Cross-Functional Team, saw the remarks as a clear admission war was inevitable. He said, the top uniformed soldier in China, chairman of China's Central Military Commission, stated that war with the United States is inevitable. That is the first time China has made that statement publicly. If you are the head uniformed general in the Chinese military and you say it's inevitable, what does that mean? I think that means that you are willing to strike first because, if it's inevitable, why would you wait for your adversary to strike first? Major Go. Kaufman also argued for more military spending, suggesting any war with China would be fought on land as well as sea. It follows President Xi telling China's People's Liberation Army to be combat ready at all times. According to the official Chinese Communist Party newspaper, The People's Daily, the president said, the entire army needs to strengthen its performance so as to do a good job of ensuring a good start to the 14th five-year plan and of celebrating the 100th anniversary of the founding of the party. He then praised the PLA for having strengthened military training and preparations for war and basically met its targets for national defense and military development for 2020.